Hi guys, it's Nunu and we're here in home and uh, you are listening to and viewing my week 12 message from Nunu, November 14th, 2018. I wanted to remind you as I do every week that to stay focused in this class, you need to number one, click on modules frequently. It's in the left menu, the second item down right over here. Uh, you need to make sure you complete all assignments due each week. We are in week 12 now. Make sure you complete the week 12 work. Uh, to stay focused in the class, you also need to review the class notes below. We are now in week 12, as you know. Read the week 12 notes to learn what we did in class. Okay, um, I am going to scroll down the screen to the week 12 notes, uh, which are down here. Uh, so here we are. Whoops, just went back up again. Let me scroll back down. Whoops, where am I? Ah, here I am. Week 12, November 14th. Uh, Monday the 12th, we had a holiday, no class. Uh, Wednesday the 14th, uh, what occurred on Wednesday? Uh, well, number one, the five-page paper. I finished evaluating all the five-page essays. If my notes are not in place today, they will be in place by tomorrow evening. I printed out and read your paper and am in the process of finishing copying my notes in the last few essays. Okay, to read these notes, click on grades, the left menu, the third item down. Uh, to review my notes for this assignment and any of your assignments. Let's scroll back up to the left menu and let's find grades so you know where it is. Uh, grades is right here. It's the third item in the menu. You can click on grades, click on the links to any of the assignments and you can read my notes. Okay, I'm scrolling back down to week 12 uh, to learn what we did. Okay, so we covered the five page paper. We also had extra credit. I showed you how to integrate statistics into an introductory paragraph by showing you three versions of a student introductory paragraph in the handout below. Now the student introductory paragraph was from the five page paper and I showed you how the student could have integrated stats in the introduction. Okay, so that was three points extra credit. Uh, what else did we do? We had our two in-class writings that we began last week um, and we completed them. Uh, we also have the narrative hook and the chapter seven quiz, which I covered for you, they are in modules and they are due this weekend. Uh, let me scroll back up the screen. I'm going to go into the narrative hook for you. I'm going to click on modules right here. And I'm going to scroll down to week 12. Okay, uh, so week 12 is right here. I'm uh, going to remind you what all these assignments are. Uh, these two first assignments here are in-class writings and they have been completed. If you did not complete them yesterday in class because you weren't here, you will complete them next week. Uh, you also have the MLA format lesson number five and you have the quiz. Okay, um, I'm going to click on the narrative hook, which is our biggest assignment. It is right here. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to add a narrative frame to the five page essay you submitted in discussion five. In other words, you need to sandwich the five page essay you wrote for discussion five between a narrative frame. Okay, um, I have the directions right here how to do the narrative frame, but I have a link that is much more helpful um, that shows you how to do this. So I've clicked on this link. I'm gonna make the screen a little bit bigger and you're going to see that in this narrative frame, uh, what I did is I added um, a story about a student um, who was not understanding what was going on in class. And I used this story as an introduction uh, to my thesis, which is right here. Okay, now at the end of the essay, I referred back to this story, back to the narrative frame here. And that's what you'll need to do too. Um, the best way to understand this assignment, of course, is to read um, this example I created for you. Okay, um, you also need to do peer evaluations. I'm gonna click here to bring them up. For the narrative frame, you're gonna evaluate two peers' work um, this weekend and give them feedback. And the directions are right here. I'm going back into the assignment and um, I'm going to tell you if you have any questions or concerns, about Discussion 5, Building a Narrative Anecdotal Frame for the five-page essay, you can reach me here in Inbox. 
Um, the best thing you can do uh, first, however, is to read these directions very carefully and to click here for an example of a narrative frame. All right, I am going to wish you a happy, safe week. And if you have any questions, I am here. And of course, I keep my office hours. And I will see you in class next week before Thanksgiving.